Welcome back to Lunch of the Market. It's an interesting day in the marketplace. It's hard to imagine that we'll finish where we are right now. The market hasn't given us a Dow less than 100 points either way in quite some time. The volatility in the market has been tremendous and has kept a lot of people out of the market. We'd like to see the market hold 1085 on an S&P close today as that's Steve Grasso's level where he feels getting comfortable getting long this market. We did close above that level yesterday and it would be terrific to see the market close there on the week. That should set Monday up for a good day if we can close above that today. We'll throw out a few names if you feel comfortable on the long side. We've done very few shorts this year. The BP one from $35 down to $29 worked extremely well. But we tend to focus on where we can find more value over the longer term. BlackRock President Robert Capito was on strategy session today on CNBC. Their company is a terrific one with a 2.5% dividend, $15.88 a share in cash on the balance sheet. Profit and operating margins are north of 20% and a forward P of 13.68 and a peg of 1. The stock is down from January 11th of this year when it traded at $243.80. You can grab it today at $157 and change. We think this company is worth looking at for sure. You'll find it under symbol BLK. One of the companies that Capito mentioned on strategy session was DuPont, symbol DD. Double D has a dividend of 4.8%, trades with a forward P of 12.58, and it has $4.98 a share in cash with massive free cash flow of several billion. This company is tremendous and you can pick up a nice yield while you wait for it to appreciate. Finally. Engineering construction companies McDermott, symbol MDR, and Flower, symbol FLR. These are plays on energy and other infrastructure, which you know we like. MDR trades with a forward PE of 9.94 and a PEG of 0.91. Anytime you can get a company for less than one times growth, we are big fans. The stock is down over 20% from its recent highs of nearly $29. The company has $775 million in cash and only $68 million in debt with $32 million in free cash flow. Flower trades with 13.81 forward PE and the peg is 1.58. The company actually has $1.97 billion with only $117 million in debt with $160 million in free cash flow. Both of these engineering and construction names look attractive and they are levered to an improving global economy. If you feel good about the global recovery, either of these names will serve you well. Thanks for tuning in today. The Celtics did an amazing job last night of being successful. It's a great game to be sure. Let's hope the next one goes just as well. Have a great weekend, everyone. We'll see you next week. Next week, you will be able to download our newest edition of AFT with Conundrum Capital's Brian Kelly. We are super excited to have had Brian on the show this morning. We'll be working feverishly to get the segment ready for download on iTunes by next week. Of course, you'll also be able to listen to it on our website, and you can catch Brian most days on Fast Money or Fast Money Halftime. It was a terrific interview, and we think you're really going to enjoy it. Download it next week and take it with you on your iPod, iPad, or iPhone when you travel. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you next week.